asked John to tell me about the uh, Disney elements uh, that they built into the railroad on the winery that uh, I'm sure any Disney fan would love. You know, it's sort of my love of Disney and my, you know, my personal heritage with Disney goes way, way, way back. And um, one of my mentors early in my career as a young animator at Disney was Ollie Johnston, one of the great nine old men. And um, Ollie was my real mentor. And he, um, he invited Nancy and I, when our boys were really tiny, down to his vacation property outside of San Diego in the mountains julie and there he had a train and it is a narrow gauge railroad and it, it's um, the name of it was the marie e named after his his uh, wife and it's a beautiful real kind of cartoony little train it's an 040 and it's by the porter company it was built in 1901 and he had gotten it out of a, a coal mine uh, bought it from a coal mine in um, Washington State. That's where it was was used. And he, and from 1964 to 66, he totally restored this train um, in his driveway in La Cunada, California. And in the now, driveway. And, <laughs> that's so awesome. And and what's but so special crazy. about Ollie Johnston is that Ollie had before this he had um, running around his backyard a very small uh, steam train that you could kind of ride on straddle and and Ollie told me the story that he was at the studio and the other great animator that was really into trains was Ward Kimball and Ward had a train in his backyard and, and so Ward came bursting into Ollie's office one day in the animation building there and Ward said Walt's building a, a Lionel layout up in his office you know a train set let's go see it so they went up there and Walt was in his office but there's this layout being built and Nick were looking at playing with it and Walt walked in and he knew of course Ward was into trains because they had gone back to the, the railroad show in Chicago and, and so on but, but he looked at Ollie and Ollie he said I didn't know you were into trains he goes and Ollie goes yeah I have a little small steam train running around in my backyard he goes yeah you should come over and see it so so the next morning, about eight o'clock in the morning, knock, 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 and he's holding his, his like little infant son, opens the door, there's Walt Disney, his boss, and it's like, and he goes, I'd love to see your train. That morning, and so he spent all morning home, and he, he there's Woody, turn around, look at Woody. See, the magic of Disney. What is the magic? Yeah, the magic of Disneyland. There's Woody, Cinderella, and Mickey Mouse. What's your intake? Yeah. And, um, and so we we had so so Walt was so inspired he came back and went straight to the machine shop you know with Roger Brogy head of the machine shop and he said we are gonna we're gonna build a, a steam train for my backyard and and that was the birth of, of the Lily Bell in the Carrollwood Pacific Railroad that ran in Walt's backyard well that interest led to Disneyland Disneyland really was. Is, it started with a train because Walt wanted to have big trains and and it, it really came to that and so really Ollie was it had a great part in in the origins of Disneyland so flash forward um, Ollie is getting older he sells his property in Julian and it was right at the right at the same time that Nancy and they bought our first parcel of property in Glen Ellen and we were at the the, the uh, showing of that Diane Disney Miller had made a, a documentary um, to celebrate the 100th anniversary of her, her, her father, Walt Disney. And we, I was interviewed for the thing, and so was Frank and Ollie. And we went to the, the screening with all of the people that were interviewed for it. It was really special. And I'll never forget this because we're at this dinner, you know, we're sitting at the table, and there's Ollie, Ollie and, and Frank. And I go, Ollie, how's the train? And his shoulder slumped and he said, my sons told me I was too old and I had to sell the property and sell the train. And he said, the guy's not doing anything with the train, it's just sitting there. And this was his baby. And I looked up at Nancy with big old puppy dog eyes, because we had just bought in this, this property. And she gave me, she looked at me, she, you know, without communication, she knew exactly what I was asking her. And she, 
she sort of did the, she nodded, and it was the most expensive nod <laughs> in the history of mankind, I think. Because I, I turned to Ollie, and I said, Ollie, do you think you would sell the train? And he got 10 years younger. He got so, you would, and I said, we just bought this property, it would be great. You know, so we ended up buying the train, totally restoring it. We've put nearly a mile of, of narrow gauge track you know, on our property, and it runs through one of the vineyards. And the vineyard is the Syrah vineyard, which goes into both of our rosé and our Rhone style blend. And in fact, we decided that we're naming each of the uh, of the wines. We're coming up with you know beautiful French name that represents us and the wine and everything. And the one that we we are able to get in, in naming the French uh, or the, the sorry the, the the Rhone style wine is Chemin de Fer, which is which is railroad in French. And, and, and Nancy's come up with this fantastic idea to have paintings, um, beautiful paintings on each of the, the bottles, which will be the, the coming out. I think what next year we should probably... Uh, the next bottling is July, June, yeah, so we'll be releasing the two next year. Year. So it'll be next year, the, yeah. Yeah, so and it's going to be here from February that the... And, to, the, the, and tell me and, and uh, on the, the Rune Style blend, Red blend, the Chemin de Fer, what's going to be on the list? The train the Marie, the Marie E coming through the vineyard. So, so there's there's definitely some some um, you know sort of Disney history kind of like deep within the soil of the last of the property. You know?